Can you tell us about the kid that you called up on the blue line today? The kid, the young kid, yeah. He looked like a kid out there. He's happy to be here. So yeah, he's been a good player in the minors for us. We all know the character he has and everything. So it's uh, we'll throw him in the game tonight, and you know he'll he'll be a solid player for us. It's interesting to hear him talk about just appreciating every moment right now, Dave. Isn't yeah. that kind of the beauty of this story in some ways? Yeah, it is. We've got a few guys like that right now, you know. So uh, um, you know, it's a good lesson for the young players, though, too. That there's a veteran player who's really put everything on the line to play the game and play for as long as they have and uh, um, those are good lessons that they can pass on to the young players. What do you expect from him tonight? I think it'd just be solid. You know, He's played really well down in, in Tucson. He's really helped their young players down there. He's, his game's not going to change coming here. It's just going to be a solid, solid, hard-working defender. What do you expect at the start of this road trip? We talked the other night about how big of a challenge and maybe a, a great litmus test for you guys, right? Well, we talked about it as a group. We're playing all good teams, and with our young players, this is great experience for them, but but we want to make sure we come out of every game feeling good about our work ethic, our commitment to play as hard as we can, and that's uh, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance to win. I don't know if you kind of see the numbers, Dave, in training camp on the blue line, but still, you've known him for a long time. He'd been here. He's kind of, when you think about the Coyotes these last few years, you think of Z. Yeah. How tough was that for you to make that call? And well, it was just we're we're trying to grow our blue line, and, and really Chickering came in and made it so you know we wanted to give him an opportunity, and so that was more the the way that things went. And when we decided we were going to put Chickering and Kraus on our team for the year, it's we knew we were going to have some growing pains, but those guys have grown, and Z's been a good good soldier for us in, uh, in Tucson and now he'll get a chance to play up here. What do you think about him when you think about his career? Like, What stands out the most when you think uh, Sabinic Mahal? His, his work ethic and commitment to to do whatever it takes to win. You know, he's... I've seen him play like, with broken bones and like he's just... He's a warrior. He seems to be on the fence whether he wants to keep doing this, so yeah. do you feel like getting him here this maybe can help him his decision making and it's a chance to get this maybe league time that's, that's a that's a question better for him but you know i just felt like the way he's played down there hey we want to give our kids an opportunity to play more down there and get him up here and with us just having six defensemen we'll give him a chance to play and i'm not sure if he'll play every game but we'll see how it goes going to draw in tonight as well uh, Question mark. He's going to go for warm up. We got one question mark for warm up, so he'll go for warm up. And if uh, if the injured guy can't play, then he'll play. If not, uh, Dolphin. How's Shane looking? I know you got out there uh, a little got late. Out late. Just first time today, so I, haven't, I don't know yet. Still in the day it's good to see him. Yeah, so. good to see him back on the ice. But that's that's where it is.